Hi, it's Emily Onan from the blog unorganizedcrazyperfection.weebly.com, which is a frugal blog that has lots of tips, tricks, and reviews, so definitely check it out. Um, today we're going to be talking about my review for the internet cash sites. And when I say internet cash sites, I mean sites that you take surveys on, do little tasks and things for points or money. Um, that's just what I call them. That's not like the technical term, but that's just what I call them. So we're just, I'm going to tell you my four favorite ones that I reviewed this month. I reviewed six in total, so please read my blog post to see all of the reviews. But I just wanted to kind of do my favorites from top to bottom. Okay, I would say that my favorite used to be, because I've only used to do one, and I included that in my review because I did it for a whole month, every single day. I used to just kind of do it off and on, but I wanted to see how much I could make in a whole month doing it at 10, yeah, 10 to um, 20 minutes a day. So first thing, my first one that I had always loved was Swagbucks. I loved that site. I would always make quite a bit of money on it, you know, off and on, but um, I found another site that I really like. I like PostLoop. If you don't know what PostLoop is, it's, it's where you post on forums that they have available and they pay you for that post. Like, let's say I there's a forum about cats, I don't know, and you get to, you can after you get submitted or submitted after you get approved because you have to take like a little 10 post test type thing to get approved to earn money after you get approved you join the dogs or cats forum and then you subscribe to it on post loop and then after you do all that you can usually the limits are like five per day on that one forum just on the cats so let's say there's another one about earthquakes I don't know I'm just thinking up things and that one also has a limit of five posts per day so you can join as many forums that you want that are available to you but and you can limit like sometimes it's five ten three eight it just depends on the site so I really like this my glasses are always crooked I really like this site because you make about five to seven cents sometimes six to eight cents a post which isn't bad and they do it by points though so it's like 1.25 points a hundred points equals five dollars that is the cash out limit five bucks and you get that directly deposit into your paypal account um it does have to get like reviewed but it takes usually it usually is submitted the same day that you submit a cash out so you basically just write your opinions, answer questions on these forums. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. It doesn't take too much time. Um, and if you're good at re you have to do pretty lengthy replies though. But if you're good at writing um, things like that, it's a great site. I really realistically think you can make about forty to fifty dollars on the site a month if you really sat down and like worked at it quite a bit. I only made about twenty dollars because. I did it for about 15 to 30 minutes a day and I also only did the ones I was like really interested in that way it was easier for me to write replies um, so you know there's a few aspects about it that are pros and cons but overall I really like the site I like that it's fat like you can earn money really fast um, with it and I really enjoyed how it was set up um, and everything. The only drawback I seen was that the customer service is not very good. They, it's not that they're not good. I think they're like a one, one person owns the site and he's just not very nice. And I haven't had any problems though. I just wanted to throw that out there. Reading some of the comments about people asking questions, it just wasn't, wasn't very nice. But, um, it pays on time and it works. It, it's a great site. I really like the site. Um, my second one would be Swagbucks because I love Swagbucks. Um, I've always had good luck with it. Gift cards are easy to cash out. It takes about 10 days to get your gift card though. So you have to take that into configuration. This month I made about $25 cash out and then I have seven more dollars 
I'm waiting to cash out. And I did a PayPal um, gift card, which you have to have $25 to get that. And basically, I just took surveys, did searches, a lot of searches um, that I just, normal searches I would do anyways. It just paid me for the searches. Um, and I did offers. I did a lot of offers. Um, I didn't really pay for anything except one thing. I paid for like a subscription to GoDaddy for my to get my um, blog URL. Um, I haven't soon. It's gonna be a .com blog only, not Weebly.com. But I haven't got it all set up yet. But anyways, I got a year subscription for like $2.99 and I got $10 back. So I spent $2.99 and I got $10 back or I think with taxes $3.18. So I got $7 back. So I was okay with that. I usually try not to buy any money, but it's something I wanted to try and get started and you know, I just wanted to go ahead and do it. Um, so I really like swag bags. There's not a lot of cons about it. Sometimes there's not any good offers to do. Their videos now is kind of weird. I don't, I don't know. It's just a little different now. They changed the point systems, and I just find it a little bit harder to earn points on there. But yeah, you cash out with gift cards, and they have tons of gift cards to select from. My glasses are driving me nuts. Okay, um, the next site I'm going to say I was my third favorite was Qumi. Queem, I don't know how you say it. It's Q-M-E-E. -E. Qumi. Qumi. I think it's Qumi. I don't know. And I only made like $2 and like some mod cents from this site. Um, sorry. Uh, from this site. So... I didn't make a whole lot of money, but it's easy. It's free money, basically, and why not do it? Basically, it's an add-on button that you download onto your computer. You sign up for it on a website, and sometimes when you search on, like, Bing, Yahoo, I don't know if it does Google, but eBay, Walmart.com, all the, there's a whole list of things they search, they use it with. If you search for certain things, like, let's say I'm searching for, a lot of times jewelry really pings up that, that sidebar that comes up with queen so I'll search like gold diamond necklace or something I would um, get there'd be a sidebar that pops up and they have little sites there that you can click on and it'll say five cents or six cents or seven cents so when you click on those sites it will take you to that site and you get seven cents for viewing that site does that make sense I kind of try to explain it in my review, like the written review on my blog, but it was really hard to do. Um, also, if there is no sense, like any like offers that pay you, you there's deals. Like if you're looking to buy women's shoes, it'll say, oh, here's a 50% coupon off for new balances or whatever the deal is. I don't know if that's a true deal right now, but I'm just saying whatever the deal is, it'll all pop up right there. So it also helps you save money. Not only do you earn a little bit of money, but you save money. Now I know $2 is not a lot of money. It's not like you're going to get rich off of it, but it's free money. Why not take it? And the best part about this is you get paid via PayPal and or via, via, is it via or via, via PayPal. And if you like I have a PayPal card, but if you don't have a PayPal card, you can still transfer it to your bank or you can use PayPal online on your mobile device, all different ways now. But you can transfer any amount to PayPal. There is no cash out limit. If you have three cents in there, you can transfer that. If you have a dollar fifty, you can transfer that. If you have five something, anything, you can transfer it directly to your PayPal. That is why I loved it so much. Um so easy to cash out no limit and it's free money basically you really are not doing anything out you might click once or twice a day you know Ooh. not like a lot of time spent on it to me it's basically free money so um my last one that I, I still like but they recently changed it actually I just I was getting ready to do my review last night and I logged in Within a day, it had changed on my account. 
it's Bing's reward. Bing reward. It was Bing reward, and then it went to, I think it's Microsoft rewards now. Within a day, I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Now I have to, like, look at this website and um, incorporate it into my review. I was just like, ah. Anyways, I love being a reward. And Microsoft Rewards, what it got changed to, is very, very similar. Same concept, all that jazz. Um, but, um, but, sorry, I am having people message me like crazy. Anyways, um, Microsoft Rewards. They changed the pointing system. I just... It's just driving me crazy. Like, why would you change the pointing system? It's And then they changed, like, the reward system. You know, you're not a gold member anymore, which really sucks, I think. You are a level 2 member, and you have to learn, earn now at least 500 points each month, which is not hard. Because the pointing system used to be in the hundreds, like 500 points would equal $5 gift card, give or take. Like, if you're if you were a gold member, 475 points would enter a $500, or $500, $5 Amazon gift card. If you weren't gold, 525 points, like if you were lower than gold, would get you a $5 gift card. So it varied, but it was pretty close to, on average, to a cent a point. Well, now they put it into the thousands. And to me, that's kind of confusing. So I'm going to get on here and see how much an Amazon gift card is now. How many points do you need? Hmm. I don't know. This is confusing. It's just a little confusing because I'm not used to it, first of all. And it has, says I have like four, 2,430 points. Which when I first got them, I'm like, wow, that's really nice, you know? No. Okay, you need... It's about the same thing. You need two five hundred. 5,250 points. So they just added a zero for some strange reason. Um, the thing that gets me is they don't have, like, I, I don't like that they don't have the gold level anymore. Like, I was gold level, and it's still 5,250 5, points. I don't know, though. Maybe it's, I, um, it's not discounting it just because... I, it's a new month. I don't know. But I don't like how they changed all the point systems. And there might be some better, like, things with this. Like, they might have updated a lot of stuff. I, I don't know. But right now, it's still all kind of new to me. But Bing's reward is always great. It's easy to do. They have the same stuff on the Microsoft rewards when they switched it over. The PC search, the mobile searches, the daily offers. Yada, yada, yada. They have all that. It just, the format's a lot different, which is was kind of confusing me at first. And I'm still kind of learning if there's anything new, how the offer, some of the newer, different offers are working. But it seems to be looking, working the same way. I also wanted to check one more thing. I wanted to see if they had better selection. Because the other Bing, this is why it's at the bottom. It, it's really easy to do. But the thing I like about Bing is it's only, you can only do so much daily. So you're not like, like Swagwits, you're not like searching through offers. They give you what they have available and that's what you do. Simple as that. Um, I mean, there's probably a few other ways you can, you know, get, you know, different, po more points other ways, but. For the vast majority of the points you get a day, it's like you can get this many points a day by doing this. There's no searching or anything like that. I'm just seeing, no, they don't have any better selection of gift cards. They don't really have a lot of gift cards. They only have like maybe 10. 
or less. Um, I always get Amazon gift cards for $5 because I find that it's the easiest thing to do. And it's the only thing I really want. I mean, they have like Hulu, Xbox, you know, things I'm just not interested in. So I really like how being set up. It, it's simple to do, but with the transition, I'm not just like, I'm kind of like, eh, I still need to look at it. But I really like it. It's easy to do, and it pays well. I've got several gift cards from there when it was Bing. Now it's called Microsoft Rewards for everybody that don't know. But anyways, I had a lot of fun doing this this month. You know, I've always been doing this type of stuff anyways for a little bit extra money. Um, between all of the sites I got, let me think. Actually, I think these are the four. Yeah, these are the four sites I was actually able to cash out on. The other two I wasn't able to cash out on because I had really high cash out limits. So between these four sites, I think I made like fifty two, seventeen or something like seventy one. I'm not sure on the um, cents, but about fifty two dollars for the month. And you know, that's I didn't have to work a lot for it, which I really liked. I didn't spend a lot of time on these websites, and it's just a little bit of extra spending money for that month. Um, so I think it's great. I think it's a great, um, great way to earn a little extra spending money. Um, if you don't like to do both of them or, or four different things, you can just pick one and do it. Even if you just do Cumi, um, or Queen, whatever it's called. Yeah, it's two bucks, but that's two more dollars you didn't have. So I really love. I really enjoyed this month and I really learned like learning like what were the good sides, what were the cons, the pros, and I really hope you enjoyed this review. I know I kind of rambled a little bit in the video, but I just wanted to give you my opinion on everything. And so my four sites I would recommend to you are first, post loop, second, um swag bucks, third, Q me or queen. I don't know what how you say it. it's Q M E E and fourth being. They all work great for me and I hope you guys check them out and have a great day.